Hey, what do we got today, guy? I got some antique wind-up toys, gentlemen. Nice. Look, it's Woody from the Toy Story. Sweet. Chum, you're an idiot. <laughs> I've got 14 wind-up toys made around 1920. My father collected them. People love these toys, and they go crazy for them. But there's very few of them around, and especially the ones that still work. So what do you have here? Oh, we got all kinds of these antique wind-up toys. This is a little skier. You will wind him up. <laughs> Here's Goofy and Daffy Duck doing their thing. This one's great. Yeah, these are pretty nice. No batteries, no electricity, just a little wind-up mechanism in there. Everyone works. Four-piece band. Oh, OK. Look, it's the Nutcracker. I see you like that one, boss. Here's one in the box still. Motorcycle with sidecar. This one looks like me and you, boss. <laughs> yeah, cool. Riding down the highway with you in my sidecar. You're probably sipping on gin and juice, laid back. Never happened, Chumley. Never, never happened. I'm a sucker for old toys. They bring me back to my childhood. We didn't need video games and electric doohickeys to have fun. It's quite a collection. Now, the big problem is, is how much do you want? Between $3,500 and $5,000. For an old pile of tin? This is more than just an old pile of tin. These well, mean a lot to a lot of people. I don't know. You might be completely out of line on the price. And I know there's a big collector's market for them. But it's more condition than anything else. I've got a guy that runs a toy store that knows this stuff left, right, and sideways. Perfect. We'll let him go through them, and maybe I can negotiate something with you, sir. Sounds good, sir. If this individual they're bringing in knows what he's talking about, I'm expecting a big payday today. Wow. They're all the old wind-up. The condition concerns me on some of these. So look them over and talk to me. OK. Looks like a lot of these are marks. In the teens and 20s, the demand went up for a lot of the American-made stuff. I mean, they sold so many of these tin toys all over the United States. These toys were relatively inexpensive. They had really bright colors. They had really complicated clockwork, and some of them had a lot of moving parts and pieces. Today, those are the kind of pieces that people look for. You got a great group of pieces. A big part of the value is if these pieces are all in working condition. Yeah, we crank them up, and they all move. OK, OK, great. Most of some of these other little pieces here, these are maybe $50, $60, something like that. Everything looks to be working fine. We have Rodeo Joe here. This would be about a $100 to $200 piece there. I mean, you got a lot of in the $100 to $200 range. Your better pieces are going to be the Goofy and uh, Donald Duck duet there. Overall, he's got his ears. Outside of missing his arm, it looks pretty complete. You might spend about $100, $150 restoring that. Um, once that's restored, you could see a six to $800 value on that. The Mark's Merrymakers Band, that's probably one of the better pieces. That came out in the late 20s. This was made to mimic Mickey Mouse. That's probably in the $900 to $1,000 range, just that piece right there. Overall, as a group, it's a great collection. I mean, you, you got a lot of things going for it. The tin looks great. I mean, you can see an easy $2,500 for the collection, I would say. You it's know, a once... little lower than five. Yeah, it's a little, it's a lot lower. I was hoping to get double that. Well, you can keep hoping. Well, it's a great collection. I mean, you got a lot of different pieces, but as a group, you're probably looking at about $2,500 for everything. Thanks, Johnny. No problem. Take care. All right, see you later. I'm going to leave this negotiation up to you, boss. All right, let's get something straight to start with. I'm not a collector. I'm not going to pay retail for these because I have to resell them. Right. He's saying they're worth about $2,500. I'm going to give you a shot. I go about $1,600 for the lot. Yeah, I can't do it for $1,600. You know, these have been in my family for some years. My dad spent a lot of money on these. So if he's yeah. saying they're worth $2,500, well, what about 
Mm. I'll tell you what. I'll push up to two grand. That's going to be the top of the market. For I've got to put 150 or so into Goofy, and it's going to take me a while to sell these. So you either pack them up and take them home, or you take two grand for them. Would you go 2050? I'll go 19 right now. OK, two grand. You got it. All right, Chelma, go write them up. All right, meet me at the front counter. I thought his appraisal was a little low, but overall, I'm $2,000 richer, and the first thing I'm going to do when I get home is buy a new entertainment system. <laughs>